So Jake Paul's organization, Team 10, finally responded to the transphobic situation and all I could say is yikes. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, let's talk a little bit about this. So some of you know about the story with these young ladies, Lila and Kendall, um, and what happened at the Team Tent house, and oh my God, it was ridiculous. And yeah, so let me just recap the story real quick. So Team 10, those lovely, lovely guys at Team 10, <laughs> they invited a bunch of women over to their house. And I'm gonna be talking about that later in this video because that in, in and of itself, like, uh, but anyway. So anyways, Lila and Kendall go over to that house and yeah, they ended up getting kicked out. And here is a clip of what happened. What do you mean she's not a girl? You literally just said she's not a girl. So what? Okay, okay, you, you are, okay, you, like, you are. What do you mean she's not a girl, Blaine? Like, what do you I mean it's fine? Like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I'm just being real. Are. Then why do you say she's literally not a girl and like, look at her? It just like, why would you do that? Because I was told that, uh, like, But it doesn't You were told what? I was told that girls were coming. Okay, good, girls so are here. girls are here. Oh. Period. About their whole respect. Like, yeah. respect. You know, like, I respect you as a cisgender man. Yeah, so Lila and Kendall are trans women, and then these fools are over here saying they were expecting real women. Like, what? What is happening? Like, it's 2019, and the amount of this stuff that I still see absolutely blows my mind. Like, last month during Pride Month, I made a video on the Catholic priest who spoke out against Pride Month and said it was damaging to children. I still get comments on that video to this day with the most ridiculous stuff. And here's a few of them on the screen. And I'm like, what? What is happening? So here's the thing, not only, and you know, like this is why, this is why commentary channels like mine exist, okay? Because like, people are such an influence on other people, right? Like, especially if you have a following, they are influencing other people. And when I saw this all going down, like when it first happened on, on Twitter and everybody was talking about it, like the comments I saw were just absolutely heartbreaking, all right? Like I saw so many comments of people being like, oh, oh, I don't like Team 10, but I agree with them on this. And you know, yeah, they wanted real women and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, holy crap. And that is one of the scariest parts about the internet is that with when people have this like this mask on and they're completely, you know, anonymous online, they could just say the most horrible, terrible, terrible things. And like, I can't imagine, I can't imagine the experience that Lila and Kendall went through. Like you could see like, they were really hurt by this, right? And then to have this story blow up and then have that many comments, like hopefully they didn't see all of those ridiculous transphobic comments, but like if they did, like that is awful and it just breaks my heart. And like something else that came up around this time was Cole Kerrigan. So those of you who don't know who he is, he's an awesome makeup artist. And like, I think he first got some like publicity when he did, um, he was invited as a guest on Jeffree Star's channel. He did some makeup there. Well, anyways, he recently went over to the Team 10 house and he dressed up uh, Jake Paul and Tana as, you know, the Joker and Harley Quinn, which is <laughs> so cliche, but anyways, <laughs> He talked about on Twitter around the time that this happened that he he experienced some homophobic stuff as well in that house. So anyways, after this whole thing happened, I guess one of the managers of Team 10 was trying to silence 
Lila and Kendall by saying like, don't talk about this, don't do this or whatever. Like, I think they were like threatening like legal stuff potentially, or they were just like kind of vaguely saying like, we're gonna come after you legally if you do this. And one of the managers calls me and was like, we didn't want for that to happen. Like you guys were leaving like right when I walked up. It's like, you literally saw us leaving, saw Blaine lock the door, saw me walk back up to the front door to cuss Blaine out and tell him that he's a piece of ass. What do you what mean you're, you're not saying shit? All I said was that, can you guys please leave? Because we're trans. No. Not what do you mean? No. Go get Adam then. Bye. Period. Period. Bye. Literally, they oh, locked us out of the house. They literally oh. locked us out. Did they not? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely call you, but like, I'm happy to call you and like settle in. That's why I like offered to pay for you guys Uber, but there's no need for you guys to like post that shit and talk. Using about the right two names, make a right turn on West Olive Avenue. which is absolutely mind blowing. Like, like this is only gonna make you look worse. But anyways, anyways, so it came out that Team 10 released a response and here's what it said. Team 10 official statement. Jake Paul and Team 10 have continuously embraced the LGBTQ community with open arms and a commitment to use the brand's substantial social media platforms to raise awareness and support for everyone within the LGBTQ community and beyond. There is simply no room whatsoever for ignorance on matters of sexuality and gender identity, which is why we take the matter at hand very seriously. We have launched a full internal investigation into the matter to determine exactly what unfolded and the full context so we can take appropriate steps as a brand and team to ensure that lessons are learned, accountability is placed, and misunderstandings like this never happen again. So yeah, I saw this because Lila tweeted it and she was basically like, like what, what do you mean investigate? Like there was video proof, like there was video evidence of what happened so yeah like when i read this and i actually you know retweeted it as well and like here's the thing like this is such a manipulation like you guys like we have to remember like actions speak louder than words okay actions speak louder than words so when i saw team 10 saying this and talk about how supportive they are and everything like that like like they were acting like they just threw like uh, a pride parade in honor of the LGBTQ community. Like what? Like what in God's name are they talking about? Like on Twitter, I actually said like, if you can show me like one example, like just one example of them supporting the LGBTQ community in any way, shape or form with their millions and millions and millions of dollars, like, I'll stand corrected, right? And like, no, it doesn't count just having a, a gay man come over and do your makeup. That doesn't mean you're supportive of the LGBT community, right? Like I'm half black and the, what, what I think about when I see that, it's like, it's like people who are like, oh, I can't be racist. I got a black friend. You know what I mean? Like, like what? So it's such a manipulation to say that, to say that they've been nothing but supportive for this community. But the reality is, and like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Like, like we know, we know who Team 10 is. We know the type of dudes they bring in there. Like, this isn't a surprise. This isn't a shock in any way, shape or form. You know what I mean? But the last thing I wanna talk about, like this whole situation with Lila and Kendall aside, like, like, God, like, this is a house where they just, like, invite women over, like, with the pure intention of hooking up. Like, if you're gonna have a house and, like, party and things like that, like, cool, like, I was young and I threw a bunch of parties and everything, but, like, what, like, it's it almost seems like they're running, like, an escort service, right? Where they use their clout as a form of payment. You see what I mean? Which is absolutely ridiculous, especially when it's just a bunch of, like, Team 10 flunkies who are trying to hook up with these girls. So I don't know, if you if you are a young woman in the Los Angeles area or traveling to Los Angeles, like just really think about it before you go to the Team 10 house. Like remember like when they uh, had the big old party there not that long ago and women were, you know, allegedly drugged and everything like that. Like this is not a good place 
to go, all right? Be safe and protect yourself and be mindful of what these dudes' intentions are, all right? Like they have built a brand off of this. And this is something that I've been talking about when it comes to Jake Paul for so long. Like Jake Paul, like the head dude of Team 10, like when it came to like his relationship with Alyssa Violet that we saw in the Shane Dawson documentary series, and then afterwards with Erica Costell, like, Jake Paul is somebody who finds like Instagram models with the pure intention of just hooking up with them. And he, he claims that he's gonna help them get exposure and all these other things like, so we know what their brand is all about. We know what Jake Paul is all about. So just be careful. Like I know it might be fun and cool to go hang out at the Team 10 house, but just remember these stories. Remember who these people are. All right, but anyways, let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, get access to some other perks and benefits, click a tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.